we're going to look at the number letter counts challenge and it's described right here so what it says is if the numbers one to five are written out in words so these are just the english words then there are 19 letters used in total so it's basically the sum of the lengths of the strings that represent the words uh, for these numbers right here and what it says is if the if all the numbers from one to a given limit inclusive so that means we include that limit number were written out in words how many letters would be used it says do not count spaces and hyphens uh, but we do have to add this and right here if we have 100 and then a number after it so i've written out the function right here again it takes in a limit um, and what I've also done is define this object right here, which will become quite useful. So it has two arrays. So it has a units array, which contain all the numbers from 1 to 19. And there are their respective indexes. So index 1 has 1, index 3 has 3, and so on. And that's why index 0 is just an empty string. And then we have the tens um, array right here, which has all the 10 variants. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, like this. And again, um, index 2, for example, has 20. Index 5, for example, has 50. So the first thing we're going to do is, since this is a sum problem, we're just going to have a sum variable that will set to 0. And we're also going to have um, an iterative variable i. Oops. And i is simply just going to be going through uh, each number from 0. Actually, it's going to start from 1 because it wanted us to go from uh, yeah, 1 to a given limit. Uh, and then it's going to be less than or equal to the limit since it said the limit was inclusive. And we're going to increment i each time. So the strategy we're going to be basically using is we're going to, for example, if our number was 13,638, we'd firstly find the number of thousands, which is 13, and then we'd have the 13 string, add on the string 1,000, then we'll take away 13,000, so we're left with 638. We'll find the number of hundreds, which is 6. We'll find 6 from here, and then add 100 to it, and then we'll take away 600. Then we'll be left with the 38, so we'll find the 30 here, um, add the string for that, and then we'll be left with the 8, and we'll find the string here and add the string for that, and then we'll just um, basically calculate the length of the string and then add it to the sum. So to keep track of how much number, I guess, that we have left, I'm just going to have a variable called current number, and I'm just going to set this to i. So when i reaches 13,638, i will be equal, a current number will be equal to 13,638. And I'm also just going to have a, the number string, which is the representation of the number as a string, and I'm going to set that to an empty string. So the first thing we're going to do is calculate the number of thousands that will go into this number. So if the current number was 13,638, um, would have would need to get back 13 and the way we can do that is we can say let thousands equals and we can do math dot flow and then we can say current number divided by a thousand so this will do 13,638 divided by a thousand uh, which will be 13 point something and then round it down so we'll get back 13 and what we can say is if thousands is greater than zero so if there's more than 1000 in there what we can say is number string plus equals so we want to add to this number string right here um, strings and then um, units so we want to look in the units array then and then we want to access the index based on the number of thousands um, and then what we want to add to that is we just want to add the string thousand like this so for example, uh, I'm just going to log the number string just to see what's going on. So if I just run this now, uh, we can see that we get back, for all the numbers that start with 13,000, we get back, actually, you know what, we'll make this clearer. Something like this. Like this. So if I run this, we can see that for 13,638, we have 13. So it's went, it did 13,638 divided by 1,000, which is 13. Then it's looked at the strings array at the unit column. 
um, and the 13th index, which has the string 13, then it's added on 1000 like this. Next thing to do is we want to say current number equals current number take away and then thousands times thousand. So what this will do is from the current number it will take away that 13,000. So we'll be left with the 638. We want to do the same thing for the hundreds. So we want to say um, let hundreds. This is a bad idea to copy and paste but I'm just going to do it for now. So we want to say uh, whatever's left, so it'll be 638, which is the current number, divided by 100. And we can say here if the hundreds is greater than zero, then we want to look in the units uh, for the hundreds index. And we want to add the hundred like this. So if we were to take a look now, when we had the 638 left, it did. Uh, 638 divided by 100, rounded that down to get 6. Then it's looked at the strings objects in units. It looked, it's found 6 right here. So it's added the string 6 and then 100 to our number string right here. Now, one thing we have to do, like I mentioned before, is if there's a number after the 100, it's got to have and added to it. So for example, 342 has this and added right here. And what we can say is now that we left, now that we took away from the current number, this is supposed to be hundreds, by the way, whoops. And now that we've taken away the number of hundreds from the current number, so we'll be just left with the 38 here, for example. What we wanna say is if current number, is greater than zero, then what we want to do here is say number string plus equals, and we want to add the and like this. So if I were to run this again, we can see that it, if if there is, so if I go to 13,600, 13,600 just stays like this, and then if we have something on top of it, we, we can see that the and has been added right here. So the next thing to do is add the number of tens but before that if all we have left is less than 20 so if it was just 13,619 and we've taken off 13,600 so if the current number is left is less than 20 then what we can essentially just do is basically just look up the number from here and add the string so if the if the current number is less than 20 what we can say is number string uh, plus equals and we can just look at the, um, basically just the current number index. So for example, if this was 19 left over or 18 left over, let's say, what we'll do is we'll add it to the number string. If we go into the units array, the 18th index right here, which is just 18 like this. So that's if it's less than 20. If it's more than 20, we also need to add the tens column as well. So we can say, um, let tens equals math.floor and what we want to do here is say current number divided by 10. So with 38 for example, tens will be equal to 38 divided by 10 rounded down which is equal to 3. And once again we want to do the same thing uh, we did up here. Oops, that's going to end up in a disaster. If I just copy this, uh, with tens we don't have to add anything on to the end because they're already written out correctly. And instead of units, we want to look in tens. So again, when we work out that there are three tens in 38, what this will do is it'll look in the strings object at the tens array, pick out the 30, and then add that to our current number. And then after that, so we'll just be left with the eight after that. Uh, what we want to do is we want to say, actually, we need to subtract it. So we want to say current number equals current number take away tens times 10. We want to make sure we take away the 30. So once we're just left with the eight, then what we can do is we can once again add the units on. So if, if we were left with the eight, it would look at the units array at the eighth index and it would add on the eight to the end. So let's uh, see what we have now. So if we run this now for 13,638, we can see that we have the 13,668, we have the full number being printed out right here. So the number string is now calculated correctly. So the final thing to do is basically just once the sum of the number strings 
uh, all of the number strings added together. So what we can do is each time we generate a number string, we want to uh, add that to the sum like this. And we want to add its length, not the string itself. And we just want to return sum in the end. So let's see uh, what well, we end up with this for this number. And whoa, well, the result is, oops, just realized my mistake. There we go. Uh, the result should not be infinity, it should be this right here. And what it wants us to do is make sure that 150 returns 1903. So let's try that. Um, it's not supposed to be right. Let's try with this one. I think I might, might have made a mistake somewhere. Yeah. Hang on. Hmm. Ah, there we go. This is supposed to be tens. My bad. Let's try that again. Yeah, um, we can see that we have 1903. And then if we try this with a thousand. Again, sorry, my mistake. Um, yeah, that's correct. So once again, just to summarize, what this does is it calculates the number of thousands Add, looks up the number right here and then adds a thousand to it. It calculates a number of hundreds, looks up the number right here and then adds hundred to it. If it's great, if the remaining number after that is greater than zero, we'll just add this and right here. And then it will say if it if the remaining is less than 20, we'll just look it up and add the number right here. Otherwise, uh, what we'll do is we'll calculate the number of tens add that and then we'll calculate the remaining number and then add that and at the uh, each time we generate a number string we'll add its length to the sum and then return the sum at the end so that should be everything we need uh, to do here um, again since we're using the strings object we need to submit both the strings um, both the strings uh, object as well as the uh, function again if you need the strings object they'll be in the written guide uh, and if we run this test now, we can see that it passes and we can go ahead and submit and move on.